I've come now to Plage de la Baie, uh, which is just outside the estuary um, where the causeway had been built. And here on the beach you can see there's a lot of sand here, but there are indicators that it's in trouble, that it's becoming vulnerable and being starved of sand. And one of the best indicators is in the dune system. Now behind me here there are cliffs and you may not think, that just looking at them, that it's actually a dune. But if you look at the top, there are uh, it, it, there's vegetation up there, there's marram grass and so on, which is uh, telling us that there, there is a dune uh, on, on top of the cliff line. And indeed, there are, uh, there's a sand layer that you can see. Uh, there are sand martins nesting in at the moment here. Um, so this is a dune deposit, but the front of it doesn't look like a dune. It's lined with boulders and you've got this very clear cliff line. And the reason for that is that it's being starved of sediment. There's not so much sand being blown off the beach as, in, uh, as, as there was in the past uh, to, to supply and replenish the dune with the sediment that it needs to maintain itself. Of course, the reason for that is the building of the causeway in the estuary. Because under natural conditions, uh, sediment being brought in on the fetch uh, from, the, from the wave currents from um, out in the Atlantic would come into the bay and that sediment would be washed into the estuary on the flood tides but then when the river's in flood, that sediment would be washed back out into the bay. And then due to longshore drift, it would move along the, the, the front of the bay. And as it, does, as it did so, it would have been blown up onto the, onto the dunes. But of course, the building of the causeway, that has now been interrupted. Sediment is not coming along here in the quantities, quantities that it used to come along. Um, transport, sand transport has been cut down and decreased. Not so much sand on the beach, therefore not so much being blown up into the dunes. And so where in the past we would have had a, a depositional regi regime going on here with abundant supplies of sediment maintaining the, the dune system, now under st a starved situation there's not so much sand to replenish it and so we're moving into a phase of active erosion. And these cliffs are testament to that, that they, they are being eroded back by the waves and there's no new sediment coming in to, to maintain them, maintain the dunes. The boulders that we can see in front aren't from um, wave, uh, waves bringing them here, they're boulders that are coming out of the, the sediment at the back of the, uh, under, under the dunes as it erodes out. So you can see that there are boulders in that deposit. It's actually a, um, a paraglacial deposit, uh, something we call a head deposit, and it has boulders and it has clay. And when the clay is washed away by the waves, the boulders fall out, and they are left here in front of the, uh, of the cliffs as a boulder lag and obviously they trap sediment um, and prevented the, the sand from actually getting to the dunes as well so they have a, a role to play in that as well. So altogether then uh, in this part of the story uh, the causeway has not only had those three consequences which we looked at earlier in the estuary but it's having much wider uh, uh, impacts uh, within the bigger system that the estuary is part of.